Eric Jordan here with Steve Gillespie, Hall of Fame coach from Nikiski and Kotzebue for Alaska, Matt. At 189, one of our featured matchups, maybe the most anticipated of this tournament, Jake Wade, a senior from Wasella, with a record of 161 and 18 in his career, going for his third state championship. Uh, second in the Rito tournament, a high school All-American versus Scott Lucas, a senior at South Anchorage High School who beat Wade earlier this year. He was second in the state at 189 at two, in, 200, in 2005. The Cook Inlet champion adds Wade with the early takedown. Two to nothing adds, uh, boy, uh, two great athletes out here in this match. Boy, Wade comes into this 161 and 18. He's a high school All-American. That we remember talking about Jake Wade, again, of the Wade family and a tremendous history here in the state of Alaska. Wrestling Scott Lucas of South Anchorage has been a two-time finalist himself. So again, some quality, quality matchups as we make our way towards the end of this state tournament. 189 pounds, two to nothing, Wade over Lucas. Well, Wade did, lost a couple matches in Alaska this year. He lost three to two in the regional finals uh, to Michael Dormandy of Kenan. So, uh, and Lucas beat him earlier this year. So uh, he's not invulnerable. And uh, of course a great family, one of the greatest families in Alaska hits wrestling history along with the Hutchinson. Uh, I have to confess, my son uh, wrestled James Wade in 1998 and uh, lost in the state finals. His uh, brother uh, Jed Wade, four time state champion. His little brother James Wade, a four time state finalist. And uh, then there's another Wade, too. <laughs> Jack Wade. <laughs> so one of the great families in the wrestling history on the mat. Scott Lucas, a great performer in his own right. He uh, beat uh, Wade earlier this year. So, And he's coming out of there now with 27 seconds left in the first round. He's working hand control, trying to come around as they go out of bounds. No change. Great action early on. Boy, the quick hands of Wade on that high crotch to get the first takedown of the match early on in the first period. And again, that's just hours and hours and hours of drill time for these big wrestlers that are performing in front of us right now at 189 pounds. Well, these guys are great athletes. These are big guys. They are good athletes. As uh, Lucas tries to roll, Wade rolls right with him just like you coach it. Oh, great effort, great counter effort. Nice Grammy, nice Grammy counter. Again, as they just moved right across the mat. Two to nothing as we just wrapped up the first period. Two to nothing, Wade over Lucas. Well, I want to thank Tom Shelley for inviting us to do this. Uh, I watched the three and I said, hey, you could give some voiceover. And so he invited me to do that as Wade comes out of there real quick to take a three to nothing lead here. And, uh, Now, Wade quickly in. How did he, he just snatch that up, didn't he? What move was that? He just cleared him over right down into a low single again. He's got good head position. And Luke is trying to do something with him. Come in with an underhook and put him right to his back. Almost looking for back points there with Wade right on the edge of the map. Five to nothing is our score. A minute 30 to remaining here in the second period. Well, what amazed me is how his footwork there is. He pivoted, and when he uh, put put uh, Lucas down, he had the body control to put him down in bounds after he pivoted. Absolutely, kept the feet in bounds, and again, just nice, nice leg sweeping action by Wade. And again, that's a lot of hours, and a lot of repetition, and uh, I'm sure the brothers have all gotten together and kind of talked a little bit more about some of that technique off their feet. Lucas coming out of there. Lucas gets his escape. <laughs> Two fine athletes here. Lucas in with a great double leg shot. Wade, Wade trying to sprawl out of it. Not much he can do. Lucas long. Now Lucas goes out of bounds with it. Oh, nice shot though. Got deep on the double leg and again with Wade's back to the edge of the mat, all he can do is just drive him off the mat. And indeed that's what has occurred. You know, talking about the Wasilla Room, I, back in the days of Kotzebue, 
Used to go down and practice quite a bit with Coach uh, Sean Hayes, one of the great technicians in Alaska as far as technique off the feet. Uh, does an outstanding job with these athletes. And again, we got a South Anchorage athlete on the, on the floor as we've got Tom Ritchie Jr. in charge of that program over there uh, for the Wolverines. Oh, great coaching here in Alaska. Nebraska becoming recognized as one of the uh, great uh, wrestling states. Lucas with another shot, and I think an installing uh, warning on Wade as he's been backing off now, sitting on that uh, four-point lead as uh, Lucas is the aggressor. Lucas with another shot. He's got the leg. He picks it up. He comes around. He's getting back points. He's got back points. And he gets two back points and two for the uh, takedown. Five to five as we go into the third round. The crowd goes wild. Holy Toledo. Nice move by uh, Lucas. Boy, it was a pretty slick move by Lucas. And again, you know, referee maybe a little bit late in getting back there and seeing back points. They went ahead and got a three count, possibly could have got a four. I don't think they were ever going to get a five count before time ran out. So proper numbers were put up on the board for Lucas. Five to five is your score as the referees are continuing to do a fine job as far as executing these matches. And Wade uh, expresses moment of his displeasure as he goes to wipe his nose with the way that those calls went and now he's behind as he lets uh, Lucas go and now he gets a good double leg shot Lucas counters Lucas tries an underhook Lucas coming in with the ankle pick Lucas has got him on his back oh it could be a fall Lucas has him stacked boy I'll tell you what that's a fall listen to this oh, big upset one of the great upsets in Alaska history. Scott Lucas beats the high school All-American Shake Wave. Oh, by Paul. Congratulations to Scott Lucas. He 